Oh, I'm live. Oh, hi guys. Welcome to Verbling. I'm sorry I'm a little late. Something is up with getting classes started and it's running a little late. But anyways, I'm here now and welcome. Um, I can see that this class is fully booked, so awesome. You guys who have made a reservation, you guys should join now. All right, first two minutes of class and then um, we can get started. If you don't join the first two minutes, your spot is lost for other people and um, unfortunately you're going to have to get back in line. All right, so let's get started. How's everyone doing? Hi, post birthday Hi. boy. Post birthday. <laughs> uh, so we have our post birthday boy, Norbert. We have our chemist, Hamid. Hamid, you changed your picture. Yes. How is it? I like it. You're like the. I'm a cute chemist. Hi, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you look like. Um, and we have Abdullah. Abdullah, it's always a pleasure to have you in class. Oh, thank you. That's very kind of you. No, oh, no, it's the truth, though. C'est vrai, Abdullah, c'est vrai. Do you, do, you speak, do you speak French, Abdullah? No, you don't. Uh, je ne parle pas français. No. Oh, 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 someone has some, someone has some talent wow. under his sleeve. Spanish, I know. French, Turkish, German, English. I know. He is Abdullah is our true polyglot. He is our true polyglot. Uh, one of, <laughs> one, one of, of many. <laughs> we also have Amparo. Hi, Amparo. Hi, teacher. How are you? I am great. How are you, Amparo? I'm fine, thank you. How long have you been on Verbling today? Uh, just one class with with Lauren. Ah, okay. I, I've been busy. <laughs> you got busy. All right. So that's awesome. How how's it going, Amparo? It's, it's going well. Yeah. That's awesome. And we also have Lily. Lily from my from my homeland of Canada. <laughs> hi, hi, man. Hi, Lily. How's it going? I'm um, great. Thank you. It is so nice in Toronto today. What's it like in Quebec? Yeah, so so here uh, it's not. It, it was sunny and it was great. <laughs> did, did you finally pack away your winter clothes? Yes. <laughs> yeah. I finally, yeah. I got rid of them. All I'm right. so happy to do this. <laughs> I know when I when like the weather transitions from winter to summer, yeah. I am like I literally I throw away my winter clothes, and then when <laughs> winter comes back, I can't find them. It's like. <gasps> They were in these yeah. boxes somewhere. Out of <laughs> shopping. Yeah. <laughs> Just an excuse to go shopping. <laughs> Let's see, who else do we have? We have Goken. Goken. Oh, Goken left us. He's like, nah, not for me. Aw. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll uh, let Goken join and say hi to him. Uh, and we also have, we have a couple of people who are in the chat. We have Ergen. I always say Ergen's name wrong. It's Ergen, right? Like the C is like a J, like a G. Er Erja. 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 Yeah. I should write that down. Erja. Because I always pronounce his name in incorrect. Um, so let's see. So we have a couple of people who are in the chat. So guys, if you want to join, now would be an awesome time too. You guys are dropping like flies. What's going on? Everybody, get your internet on the floor. No. Okay. All right. So today's game, we are going to be playing Hangman. Um, we played Hangman last week as well, and it was massively popular. A lot of you guys uh, recommended uh, or requested me to um, schedule another class on it, and here it is. Um, Yay! Abdullah, you weren't here last time, though, right? No, I, I wasn't. No. You was Yeah, you weren't. No, Abdullah, no. keep your answers to yourself. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, okay, so we're going to be playing Hangman, and the topic today uh, is uh, clothes and clothing. All right? So, like, what's a jacket? What's a parka? What's a blouse? All right? I've yeah, had a... Sh shoot! <laughs> so I've had a lot of students who've asked me to uh, schedule vocabulary classes to do with clothing. So I thought we'd uh, we'd, we'd uh, 
schedule a hangman class and you guys can uh, try to figure out the words and we'll discuss them together. Okay? But I need more people. Unless we want to play girls versus versus guys. Come on, guys. The more the merrier. <laughs> yeah, come on, guys. You have to join. This class was fully booked. So, like, tsk, tsk. You guys have to join now. And the sooner you join, the sooner we can start. But we can definitely get started with our uh, handful of people in our class right now. So, Lily and Amparo, do you guys want to do girl power? Do you want to be like, we're taking you men down? You, yes. men, are, you men are gonna suck. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna have, so right now we're gonna have girls versus guys uh, until we get more people to join. But let's just see if Gokin can hear me right we now. We need more guys. We do. More we, we, need, we need more people in general, but we'll start off with girls versus guys, and <laughs> as more people join, then I'll add them to your teams. Okay? So let's see. Girl power. Girl power, we're going to start off with Amparo and Lily in the girl team. And the guys can be boldly shown to us by Norbert and Abdullah. Oh, and we have another guy. Hello. Ali Fari? Yes. Hi, how are you? I'm great. <laughs> Um, I'm great. Welcome, welcome to class. Where are you from, Ali? <gasps> Guys, what's up with your internet? Blah, 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 blah. And we also have okay. Mario. Ladies, ladies, would you like Mario to be on your team? <laughs> I want the lady. I want the lady. I would want Mario to be on my team. I'd be like, oh, Mario. Welcome to, welcome to our team, Miss Maria. <laughs> <laughs> How are you, Maria? I am great. And what That's, about you? I'm great, too. I'm going to make you even more happy by, by putting you on a team of our beautiful, lovely ladies with Lily okay. and Amparo. So oh, what a lucky guy. <laughs> <laughs> so, Maria, you're going to be with Lily and Amparo. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to name you guys Team A, okay? So okay. Lily, Amparo, Mario, you guys are team A, Norbert, Abdullah, uh, and Hamid. Hamid's here too. Hi, Hamid. Sorry, uh, I have internet problem. I dropped out. That's so, okay. That's... that's okay, as long as, as long as you come back, all right? So we have yes. Lily, Amparo, Mario in team A. We have Norbert, <coughs> Abdullah, Hamid in team B. Okay. And we have more people who've joined us. So we have Goliath. Oh Yay. my god, Goliath is in the last class. Who calls dibs on Goliath? Who calls Me. dibs on Oh! Boys, oh. Boys call <laughs> dibs on Goliath. Oh no. <laughs> Goliath, you are in high demand. So Goliath is on Team B as well. And let's see. Um, Hello. Hello. Hi, Goliath. How's it going? Yeah. I was muted. Uh, I uh, muted myself, and now I unmuted myself. That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> A, B, and C. Perfect. Huh? Thank you, Goliath. So, Goliath, Norbert called dibs on you, so you are part of Team B. Okay. Oh, is it a guest game or something like that? Hangman. We're playing Hangman. Ah, Hangman. Yeah, ah, yeah. You were here last yeah. time as well. You know, you know, uh, yeah. I want to say our team's name is Hank. It means Hamid's H, Norbert's and uh, Abdullah's A and Goliath's G. Yeah. What, sure. what will, what will so. happen when you have another person in your team? You're just gonna like leave them. You're gonna you you don't matter. You're not important. We will call them. <laughs> At this moment, uh, our team name is uh, Hank. It's hang. Okay, your no, team. Uh, we B. will call it out. Then, the next <laughs> we hang out. Yeah, let's hang the other team. Yeah. <laughs> and let's see. So we have two more people who also joined us. We have Hoda. Hoda, Hi. can you hear me? Oh, it's a girl. <gasps> <laughs> Hi, Hoda. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Where are you from, Hoda? I'm from Egypt. You're from Egypt. Awesome. And this is your first time in my class, right? I like, Sorry, I, like... I can't hear you. And this is your first time in my class, right? Hold on. 
<laughs> Say hi, Hoda. Hoda Osama. Can you hear me now? Can you guys hear me properly? Yes, we can. Yeah. yeah? Okay, I think she's having issues with her internet. I think she's having issues <laughs> with her internet then. Um, and lastly, we have Ali. Ali Fari? Yes. Hi, Ali. Yes. How are you? I am great. How are you? I'm great, too. Where are you from, Ali? I'm from Egypt, too. You're from Egypt as well? Okay, that's awesome. Yes. Welcome. It's nice to have you join us. So Ali, I'm gonna Thank put you. you. I'm gonna put you in Team A. So you are with okay. yeah. <laughs> so you are with Lily and Paro and Mario. Okay. 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 And we're playing for okay. all those who don't know. We are playing Hangman. All right. And if you've never seen Hangman, if you don't know what it's like, here is what Hangman looks like. So you guys have yeah. to guess letters, and uh, you have to fill in the blank for the words. Our topic today is clothes and clothing, okay? Yes. Clothes and clothing, pretty much it means the same thing. It just depends on uh, the context that you're saying it, all right? Um, so I think, I think class is full now, and everybody has a team, correct? Everybody knows what team they're on? Yep. Yeah? So let me just try to say hi to Hoda one more time before we begin. Hoda, are you there? Yes. Is, is your internet okay? Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, Hoda. So, welcome. We are playing Hangman. And Hoda, I'm going to put you in Team A as well. Mm. So, our team name is Sam uh, Hank. Yes. So you didn't want to change your team name, so I didn't put, give you too many people. <laughs> okay, so there we go. So, Team A, Lily, Amparo, Mario, Hoda, and Ali. And Team B, Norbert, Abdullah, Hamid, and Goliath. It, sh it looks like it's going to be an exciting, exciting match, mm -hmm. all right? Um, mm -hmm. We need captains. Who wants to be captain for Team A? Mario. Mario? Okay. Mario, you have been elected. You have been elected as the captain. Okay. So Mario is our captain for Team A. Who would be captain for Team B? Hamid. Hamid, how did you were captain last time as well? You want to be captain? Yes, uh, but everybody is uh, everybody agrees with me. Okay. I want to be captain. Yes. Okay, all right. So Mario no, and Hamid. Let's have a captain. punch up. <laughs> no, 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 no. We need to have we need to have an online coin toss. We need to have an online coin toss. <laughs> no, I'm joking. It's okay. I'm joking. <laughs> All right. Okay. So what we're gonna do is, what kind of coin do you guys want to flip this time? Let's flip a Canadian loony. Do you guys know what? No, it Canadian? was the last time. That was the last time. <laughs> no, if you if you find uh, it can be good uh, Turkish lira. Turkish, Turkish lira. Okay. Yes. So let's let's flip uh, a Turkish lira. Next time, next time you guys can let me know what you want, what you want me to flip. Okay. All right. Okay. So I'm going to flip a Turkish lira. Uh, who calls heads? Let's say head. Heads? Okay, team yes, B is heads. Yes, head. Okay, team B is heads, team A is tails. Okay? So this is what a Turkish lira looks like, all right? So okay. this is, let's see, Turkish lira, flip coin. So this is, this is the head, right? Yeah. Does, yes. it look, does it look the same on both sides? Okay. No. Okay. No. okay, all right. Okay. okay, so you guys ready? We're gonna flip yes. a Turkish layer. This is this is heads. Number one is heads. The other one is gonna be tails. Okay. okay. One, right. two, three. Ah, oh, we have heads. Yay! <laughs> change. It did. I look. I, I flipped it. It changed. It didn't change, but it stayed the same. Okay. So we have heads, and Team B is going to get to go first. So clothes and clothing. This is Team B's word. All right. So Team B, whenever you're ready, let me know what letters you'd like. Okay. Can I start? Uh, Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. E. E. Oh, started off on the wrong foot, Hamid. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. What else, guys? It's our turn. Mm -hmm. no. Ah, um, let's say A. This is, this, this is your word, right? So, A. Okay, A is in the middle. Guys, you have to boo them while, when they're when they're getting a letter. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, A. Uh, um, S. S. Oh, 
Okay, two S's, first and last. Okay, so just remember the topic. The topic is clothes and clothing. So that should give you an idea of what you're thinking about. Uh, Goliath, do you have any suggestions? I prefer not to say. <laughs> Goliath, you, is it your you team? You cannot <laughs> sitting on the bench. No, no, no. Goliath, you were called on dibs for. Come on. <laughs> My God, you're emba it's embarrassing as a situation. <laughs> I don't want to upset my team, so... No, no your, team, your team will love you no matter what. Say it. Really? Say it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. We are not going to beat up. No, no, no. Okay. We should search and do it. Next Seven. letter, guys. Let's say N. N? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, Lily. <laughs> Good. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> no, but say something. Yeah, I'll try. But... Mm. Norbert has... I'm thinking. <laughs> one. <laughs> Guys, I, I want Five, to say... Three, uh -huh. two, two, one. one. Yeah. Hamid, what did you say? R. R? Okay. Oh, okay. Now you only have you only have five seconds to think up of the le next letters. So okay. okay. Um, Say no word. L, L. L. U. Ooh. L. Okay. U. V. 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 Yes. V as in a vessel. Yes. Okay. Uh, um, no. Okay, no. Uh, Ooh. Uh, you. You. Oh. Ah. Uh, Hoda, Hoda, you're not on their team. Hoda, you're on the other team. <laughs> no, Hoda. <laughs> you're supposed to say boo. <laughs> Don't hurt them. Don't hurt them. T? <laughs> Don't hurt them. T? <laughs> Don't hurt them. T? Okay. C, C, no T. Oh, oh. oh, okay. And K. K. Ah, slags. Slags. Oh. What is it? Okay, yeah. what are slacks, guys? I think they have like some kind trouser. of trousers, yeah. Trousers? Specifically yeah. for men or women? It's for men. For I men? Yeah. yeah. Slacks are, you know what uh, what you wear, what we call dress pants? Norbert? Um, dress I'm not sure. No, okay, so let's, 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 let's I think I know it, but... Yeah. Ah. So there. Okay. These are slacks for women. Uh -huh. All right. So this straight kind of pen, anything that is not denim. All right. You guys know what denim it's is, like right? For the for the suit. Yeah, for suit, suit. A suit, suit. Yeah. yeah. So when I say denim, your jeans are made of denim. Okay. This material, these jeans, this material is called denim. So slacks are bottoms that are not made of denim. Okay. So you're not not your jeans. All right. Mm -hmm. So that's the word slacks, right. right? It's uh, we also use it very informally. Uh, for example, when we say sweatpants, okay, sweatpants. Everybody knows what sweatpants are. Sweatpants. Okay, we'll talk about what sweatpants are. I think they're going to be one of the words in the in 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 here. So when it comes up, then we'll talk about what sweatpants are. There we go. Perfect. So Hamid, well done. Slacks. Thank okay. You. All right, Team A, you guys ready? So, so Hoda, yes. this is your, this is gonna be your team. So now you can <laughs> yell out letters. I all right. <laughs> okay. Ooh, this is easy, guys. All right. So, who would like to go first? Okay. Mario, go ahead. A. A. Okay. No. 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 <laughs> what is that? <laughs> that that means big fat no. S. <laughs> S. Okay. Oh no S either. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> hold on. What do you have? Mm. Oh, and Amparo, what about you? I think. Okay. Uh, Amparo, what about you? Letter E. E? Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got an yeah. E. Yeah. Okay, we got an E. What about Ali? Ali, what letter do you think should be put? Ali, are you still there? Okay, Ali is 
FYI, not there. Uh, ho okay, Lily, what about you? Okay. <laughs> um, your name, and, your name. Um, my name is L? Yep. Okay. Sorry, what did you guys say? L. L. Okay, L. L. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Do you know it? Uh, Do you know what is? No. Belt. B L. Okay. B E L T. Yay. B E L T. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> That's easy. Yeah. Belt. Okay. Well done. Woo. Well done, Team A. So everybody knows what a belt is, right? Yep. Yes. You wear you wear the belt to hold your pants up, and a lot of women wear belts uh, just for aesthetic purposes. What are aesthetic purposes? Just to look nice. Yes, yeah. exactly. So a lot of women they wear belts just so they can look nice. They don't have any purpose like holding your. But guys as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. guys really guys do that as well just to put your just to wear belt. <laughs> To look I mean, nice. um, <laughs> for example, you have to, for example, you have to, you have yeah. to fasten your seatbelt. Uh, yeah, Norbert, go ahead. Cab cowboys or what? what cowboys, is the name? cowboys. Yeah. yeah. So, I was, yeah. Not not a tiny belt like like the women's, but uh, yeah. There yeah. are there are belts uh, that look uh, nice. Mhm. Mm so, nice is called the belt buckle. Okay, just so you guys know. So the part of the belt that we close, that is called the buckle. B U C K L E. I'm going to write that down. Okay? okay. So when we say, so if somebody's belt is open, we say buckle your belt. Okay? We don't say close your belt or tie your belt. We say buckle your belt. So belt, the belt buckle is the noun, and to buckle is a verb as well. Okay, so belt okay. buckle. Okay, is to, to buckle means to close the belt. Yes, to buckle means to close the belt. So basically, okay. here this this belt here, the the brown one, this yeah. belt is buckled. It's closed. Yes. Okay? okay, there we go. So belt buckle is what you close the belt with. Perfect. All right. So, one for one for so far. Let's go back to Team Hang, Team B. You guys ready? Yes. Yeah. Okay, did you lose Goliath? Oh, you guys lost Goliath. What happened? I, I'm, sure, I'm sure he'll be back. Okay. All right, so you guys can get started. Yeah. Okay. Guys, can I start? A, I say A. Mm -hmm. A, okay. Hamid, it's your turn. Yeah. Yes, T. T. Ooh, no T. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, S. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh dear. Um, E. Ooh. Oh, I hope uh, it's not the same word. Okay. Yeah. Maybe. I wow. think it's the same word. No? Is oh, it? Yeah. I I don't I don't I hope not. K K. Oh, I think it's the yeah, same yeah, word. Yeah, yeah. Why? Again? Why? Okay, we Why? Oh, no. Why did you do this? No. <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> Wait, I played this whole thing. Okay, there we go. There we go. Sorry, um, I don't know. What, I don't know what happened. T. T. Okay, let's let's start again. T. Okay. Yeah. It's time. Oh. <laughs> Easy. Easy. Okay. All right. Time. Now, now while we're on the, while we are on the topic, and we have quite a few men in class, um, how many people know how to tie a tie? To tie. It's not my strong no. suit. No. <laughs> yeah. I don't have but I like it, but I can't. Mm -hmm. Uh, I can't tie a tie. No. You can't tie a tie? Nor no. about you, Mario. What, what, do you know how to tie a tie? No, no. I, I think no. I, I, no. twice in my life I, I, I tie <laughs> once, no. once when I got married and once yeah. when I went for a job interview. That's it. I know how to tie a, a rope to hang someone. <laughs> I know how to tie a rope around your neck. A, a lot of people don't know how to tie a tie. It's, it's for some reason it's it's something that is very um, complicated for a lot of people. Norbert, it what is. about you? 
I know how to ask someone. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know what to That's say what to you. <laughs> um, what about, okay, so what about the women? So, uh, Lily, Lily, you're married. Has your husband yeah. ever asked you to tie his tie? No. No? Because he don't wear uh, a suit when he doesn't. He went to, he, yes, he mm -hmm. doesn't wear a suit when he went to to uh, to his job. Okay. He just uh, wear simple uh, jeans and uh, uh, casual jeans. Jeans. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. jeans. Yeah. Jeans and uh, 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 how to like trousers, trousers or pants. You can just say jeans and pants. Oh, sorry, yeah. jeans and shirt, jeans and a shirt. Yes. Or slacks. Or slacks, yeah. Or now you can jeans, say slacks uh, as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and a shirt. Okay. Uh, what about what about you, Amparo? Have you ever had to tie a tie? No, my parents and my brothers, they know how to do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, when you tie a tie, do you know what it's called? So, you tie it over here, right? So, this there's, a, there's something over here. What is that called when you tie it? Tie knot. Tie knot, okay? And that's spelled like this, knot, K-N-O-T, all right? And there are many different kinds of knots, all right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. tying a tie is not just here, I've tied it. So let's let's see, tie knots, depending on uh, where you're going, if you're going to a formal occasion, can be very different. Okay, let's have a look. So there you go. This is like this is a really fancy knot. Can you guys see it? Wow. Yeah, that's a really fancy. Yeah. For all those who don't know how to tie a tie, here. How to tie a tie? I'm gonna wow. send. I'm gonna send it. <laughs> YouTube tutorial. Yeah, there's lots of YouTube tutorials as well. But basically, a tie knot. There's not just one kind of knot. There are many different kinds of knots depending on where you are going, what the occasion is, and even ties themselves. Have you guys seen those ties that are really thin? Really, really thin ties? Yes. Yeah? yeah. Those are called, those are for more for partying. Like if you're going to a club, if you're going to a bar, if you're going to a cocktail party, you would wear a really thin tie and it's just... Uh, it's, uh, mm -hmm. Go ahead, Goliath. Uh -huh. I was talking to my cousin, sorry, I didn't notice it was muted. So I will uh, mute myself. <laughs> oh, that, that's okay. Um, but yeah, so depending on the occasion, ties vary as well, okay? And the what you tie up here, that's called a knot. That was an easy one, guys, okay? Yeah, I'm lucky. And you're lucky. I hope, I hope we can, okay, so let's go back to team A. Go ahead, team A. Do you have a four-letter word now? This is my team. Yeah, team A. Yeah. So Lily, Lily, and Paro, Mario, hold up, hold up. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So Mario, go ahead and start since you are our team okay. leader. Since uh, you lead all these women. Yeah. Who <laughs> <laughs> <Cool> guy? Uh, <laughs> e. E. Oh my god, is this bell yeah. again? No, it's not. Okay, okay, there we go. Okay, E. All right, go ahead. Sorry, if I ignore that head. I'll give you a little heads up if you need help. <laughs> okay, Mario, and then Lily, what about you? N. N? Yeah. Okay, no, no oh. N. Okay. And Paro. <laughs> and Paro, are you still there? Yes, I'm thinking. Okay. Uh, what about Hoda? I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. S. 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 Emparo, what did you say? Which letter? S. S. S says in the sun. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ooh, okay. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh. I know what bird this is. Yes, I know. <laughs> I can say. Yeah, you can say it if you can figure it out. What what is it? Vest. Okay, vest. what are what are the letters? What's the first letter? V. V. E. And T. 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 Perfect. T. Vest. Yeah. Well done. Okay. Mm -hmm. What is a vest? Jacket. It, yeah, it's like jacket. Ooh. Okay. 
what's well, the di so what would be the difference? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Go ahead, Abdullah. I think it depends on where do you say it. In the UK, it's different, uh, and in American, it's also different meanings. Yeah, in Amer I'm not sure what it is in the UK, but here in North America, a a vest is like a jacket that doesn't have any sleeves. Okay, yeah. so so this is oh. a sleeve, right? So a yeah. vest would just be up till here. It would have no sleeves. Um, if you, for a man, if you've ever worn a suit, do you guys know what a three-piece suit is? Three piece. No. Yes. No. So what are the three pieces of a three-piece suit? Shirt, mess, no. no. uh, vest, and uh, jacket. Okay. Well, okay, so there's just everything on top. There's nothing at the bottom. <laughs> you walk out in your underwear in a three-piece suit. <laughs> and in a, the, the three parts of a three-piece suit, the suit is not your tie and it's not your shirt. The suit is your vest. And then on top of the vest, you wear a jacket. And then your pants. Those are the three pieces of a three-piece suit. Okay, mm -hmm. so a vest is something that is sort of formal. Uh, you we don't wear it. We don't wear it like every day. It's when you wear it with the suit. So let's have a let's have a look. Uh, suit vests. Okay, here. This yeah. is a vest that you wear with the mm -hmm. suit. Okay, this is this is a little more formal. Here we go. Okay, so this is a guy in a suit and he's wearing a vest. Now, if he was to wear a jacket on top of this vest, then it would become a three-piece suit. Okay, there. This guy here, he is wearing a three-piece suit. So he has pants, he has a jacket, and then he has a vest underneath underneath that. Okay. Okay. And in UK, um, mm -hmm. a vest is um, how do you say that? Is is an undershirt. You know, it's a mm -hmm. piece of underwear that you, yeah, wear it like, like a shirt. Yeah, exactly. Here, yeah. this is a vest as well. Can you guys, can you guys see this one here? Yeah. So this is a vest as well. Okay. Yeah. And so in, so in Britain or in Europe, when you say vest, this is what you mean. This is part of your undergarments. Undergarments. Yeah. Okay. okay. Sorry. The country in France because vest is the jacket. Vest is the jacket. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Is there the jacket like the way we saw uh, in in the yeah. U.S. The okay. Yeah. yeah. Um. This. They call it. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Go ahead. They call it. They call it in USA a wife beater. This does. Yes. <laughs> exactly. This is called a wife beater here. <laughs> so, I know this is this is very mean, but this is actually what this is. If we in over here in North America, if we say vest, we mean the vest with the suit, so the sleeveless one, the one that is formal. This is what we call a wife beater or a tank top. Tank top. Tank top. Yeah. Tank top. Okay? Tank top is usually for girls. Okay, so let me show you what a girl's tank top looks like. But uh, if somebody doesn't know that this is called a wife beater, here, here's another picture of it. That this is called a wife beater, then they will call it a tank top, and that's completely acceptable. Okay, so let's see what a tank top on a woman looks like, and then you can see the difference. Okay, this is a tank top on a woman. All right, so this is also called a spaghetti top. All right, so let's just see this picture here. Okay, so in the summer, you see lots of girls wearing tank tops because it's pretty hot. All right, so on a guy, on a guy, this this sort of shirt is called a wife beater. On a girl, it's called a tank top. All right, so a vest is specifically we we keep it for when we want to talk about the the vest that you wear with a suit. Any questions? You guys confused? So tank top. Vest, no. wife beater, no. uh, a tank top for a woman is also called spaghetti. Uh, husband spaghetti. beater. Top. Sorry, Goliath? Husband beater. Husband beater. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, not wives, husband beater. Uh, wives are, are becoming violent, so they <laughs> eat into uh, Okay, it's Goliath. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Goliath. I don't know what goes on in Algeria, but I don't want to know. 
<laughs> okay, don't let's go. <laughs> let's go back to Team B. Goliath, yep. why don't why don't you start us off with the next word? So you have a five letter word now. Let's say S. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. P. P. Okay. Oh, no, P. Oh, okay. I know what are you thinking. T. X. Yeah. <laughs> T. Okay. T, oh. okay. So we have T and an S. U. Sorry, Hamid? U. U, okay. Oh, no, U. Only U. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, e. E, okay. Uh, no E? Wow, oh. I don't know what word this is. No vowels. Ooh, B. <laughs> B. B? B as in balloon? Yeah, I mean blue. Blue, okay. Oh, okay. Boots. Boots. Ah, what, letters okay. Are, what letters are missing? What, what, what are the letters that are missing? O. 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 There we go. Perfect. Yay. Boots. Boots. Okay. Boots. Uh -huh. uh, so uh -huh. boots are a kind of. What are they? They're kind of shoes. 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 Okay. Boots. In winter. In winter. Okay. Yes. In winter. So what kind of boots do you guys have in your own countries? So let's say Abdullah. When you uh, say boots, what do you mean in Germany? Um, well, with, yeah, uh, it depends on. Um, we have rubber boots, Wellingtons. Mm -hmm. uh, for rainy days. Mm -hmm. Over and here, we call those rain boots. We just rain say boots. rain boots, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And and we have just boots if it's snowing outside. Mm -hmm. Just keep your uh, feet warm. Yeah, boots, boots is a is a very umbrella term. It doesn't really mm -hmm. mean anything. It just yeah. means shoes. And boots, yeah. usually, usually when people say boots, they mean something that goes above the ankle, okay? So when you wear boots, when you wear shoes, they, they, they just cover your feet, right? They don't cover any part of your leg. A boot is any shoe that covers a part of your leg. So it's higher or it's longer than most shoes. And there are literally hundreds of different kinds of boots, okay? Um, I pulled up some pictures and we'll talk about what some of the boots are. So the one that Abdullah mentioned, Wellingtons. So those would be these rubber boots right here. Okay. Yeah. This one in North America, we just call them rain boots. You know, you wear yeah. because they're made of plastic. They're rubbery. They they don't get wet if you if you walk in water. Okay. These are just some boots that women wear in the winter time. All right. So you can see there's a lot of variety in them. Okay. Some of them have heels, some of them don't. Um, and then you have this really popular kind of boot, this one. Anybody know what these are called? These boots? Mm. Uh, these are yeah, these are yeah. called Uggs. Okay? Yeah. Uggs. So there's very, yeah, these are called Uggs. These are a very specific kind of boot because they are made from animal fur. And they are, they're specifically for winter. They're specifically for when it's and cold. it's comfortable and hot. It's comfortable and warm. Goliath, did you I have one from yeah. this? Yeah, Uggs like the animal. Uggs like the animal, exactly. It's named after the animal. And Hoda, what did you have a pair of Uggs, Hoda? Uh, I have one uh, from it. Uh, it's... Sorry, Hoda, what did you say? I have one from it. <laughs> oh, okay. You have a pair of uh, you have a pair of Uggs. Brown. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, and brown. Um, mm -hmm. I wanna I wanna mention a specific kind of. I don't know what they are called. These are riding boots. Can you see what these women are wearing? Yeah. 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 This yeah. is what you wear when you ride horses. Okay, uh -huh. can you see this woman oh, who's riding a horse? Yeah. Yeah. These, these are called equestrian boots. Equestrian. I'm going to write that down for you guys. From horse. Equa so riding horses. Equestrian has to do with riding horses. That word specifically means riding a horse. Okay. So equestrian boots 
uh, are specific to riding uh, animals, but people wear them for fashion nowadays as well. Here, this is here's a guy. He's wearing equestrian boots for fashion. Okay, so when. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Norbert, what, what did you say, Norbert? Uh, nothing, but I I linked the uh, Google mm -hmm. link. Google link? What, what does it call? What is that called? Oh, okay. It, so these are boots it, as uh, well. For mm -hmm. uh, rack, uh, uh, for uh, it, no. War? For it, uh, who likes uh, rack music. Okay, Metal combat. Music. These are called combat boots. Com combat. I'm gonna write that down. Okay. Yeah. So here. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So we have the picture up here. So you see this woman? She is not riding a horse. She's just wearing equestrian boots for fashion. So when you guys see boots that cover a woman's uh, knees as well, those are fashion boots. They're equestrian boots. Okay. And Norbert, mm. Norbert just linked me a picture of combat boots. So I'll show you guys what combat no. boots are. Yeah. This uh, lady has a boot. Looks like the one they fishing in the rivers. So the fish. <laughs> oh, the, oh, those, those would be different. Those would be those would be very similar to rain boots because they would yeah. be made of plastic. No, okay? uh, I mean the size. They are long. The si <laughs> yeah. They go into the knees. So yeah. yeah. Like, let's, uh, let's have a look at them again. Fishman, fishers. Yeah, sure. fisher fishermen's boots. Fishermen's. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, and this is just for fashion. So these are these are these have become really popular in recent years. All right, um, and the pictures that Norbert sent me. So these would be combat boots. All right, people wear them uh, when they, for example, they're going to for war or for combat or for battle. Okay, and again, you yeah, or hiking. All right? for hiking. Yes, yeah. there's hiking boots as well. So like I said, boot. In itself is a very general term. It doesn't mean anything, all right? So you have to specify what kind of boots you're wearing. There's also cowboy boots. Cowboy boots, okay? So has anybody ever seen cowboy boots? Yeah. 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 Oh, one at a time. Mario, what did you say? Santiago. Santiago, yeah. Santiago, yeah. Chile? No, San Diego. It's kind of uh, boots, uh, brand Latin America. Oh, okay. Um, the I, I'm not. I'm not. Like I said, I'm not. I'm not an expert on on the on the shoes. But there's a part. If you've ever seen a Western movie, then when a cowboy wears boots, when he moves, the boots make a noise. Have you guys heard of it? It's like it's, it's like, like a, a metallic uh, something. They yeah. hurt yeah. the. They hit the. The horse to to make him run. Yeah, exactly. That's absolutely right. So cowboys, they have these spikes on the shoes. Those spikes are called spurs. 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 Yes. Like okay. spe not spears. Spurs. Spears are like the big ones that you carry. Okay. So the link of the Santiago. Oh, you sent me a link. Okay. Yeah. Let's have a look. Okay. Let me just. I let me just. San Diego is used in France. I don't know if they. Yeah. 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 I've never heard that. Yeah, I've never heard that here. But these are cowboy boots. So cowboy and cowgirl. Girls wear them as well. These are yeah. fashion. Okay. These are these are not the functional cowboy or cowgirl boots. So let's see. Cowboy boots with. There. This is a cowboy boot with spurs. So you guys see this metal part at the back. Yeah. Okay. When a cowboy is riding a horse, he pinches this into the horse to make him go faster or small or slower. I mean, it's it's kind of mean and it hurts the animal. But oh. that metal, when a cowboy walks, that metal is what makes the sound. So you can mm -hmm. hear a cowboy walking because of these spurs. So that that metal round thing is called a spur. Lily, you had something. To, you're saying something? No, no. I just no. Okay. Yeah. And here, uh, there is basket uh, basketball team uh, San Antonio Spurs. Mm -hmm. I guess Spurs is coming from that. that yes, San Antonio is in Texas, and Texas has a very high yes. population of cowboys. Yeah, yeah. that's cowboys. why they call. Yeah, exactly. So now you now you know why San Antonio is a really big city in Texas in the United States, and most cowboys. Like the real cowboys, they live in the southern part of the USA. So they live in like Texas, Alabama, Louisiana, and in Canada, 
they mostly live in Alberta, so the province of Alberta. Okay. Now you guys know so much about boots. So when you say boots next time, boots don't really mean anything. They're just a kind of shoe. You have to specify what kind of boots you're talking about. Mm -hmm. All right. Let us get back. So we have Team A who is going next. Let's see what word you guys have next. Oh, that's a oh, long word. Oh my gosh. Team, this is time for you to prove yourself. Mario, lead your team into victory. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, go ahead. Go, Mario. Go. <laughs> A. A. Okay. Oh. Uh, no. Amparo. Whoa, oh, we got that. Amparo, what about you? Um. R. R. Okay. With so many letters, it's kind of hard not to get any letter. <laughs> uh, Lily. Ben. N, N as in North? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, Hoda. Hey, you know what it is. <laughs> you, know, you know what it is? Okay, uh, let's, let's, sure, let's, let's, let's get Hoda an opportunity. And ah, then, uh, okay. <laughs> I solved it. It was so yes. easy, guys. Come on. <laughs> Hoda, <laughs> Hoda, what about you? I think Hoda, maybe she's not there. I think I muted her because she was on the phone. Okay, Lily, do you want to try and guess what the word is? Why don't you give me another letter? Um, another letter? Mm -hmm. uh, S. S. Oh, okay. Yes, yes it is. <laughs> so, so what's the, Mario, can you guess what the word is or do you want to guess another letter? Uh, no, I don't know what the, the word T. T? T, yeah. T, okay. Underpants. U? Underpants. Underpants. Uh, underpants. underpants. Okay. okay, U, N, and what other letters are we missing? D. 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 E. E. Mm -hmm. P. E. P. 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 There we go. Underpants. What are underpants? What's another word for underpants? Underwear. 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 Exactly. Okay. Now, I just want to make something clear that underwear is specifically for men, okay? Mm. Underpants is a generic term. Underpants includes for women as well as men. But when you are talking about underpants for a woman, what is what are those called? Um, uh, damn, I forgot it. <laughs> Starts with a P. Pants. Pants. Panty. Panty. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Panty. So yeah. Underpants is a general term. Underpants means men and women's underpants. Underwear is specifically for a man. Now, what are the two kinds of underwear that men wear? Basically, like the basic kinds. Um, boxer shirts. Boxers. Yeah. Shorts. Boxers and. Undershirt. No, briefs. Briefs. Okay? Mm -hmm. Boxers and briefs. So the really loose underwear that men wear, those are called briefs. Okay? So you have uh, under underpants for a man, underpants or underwear. For the two major kinds of underwear are boxers and briefs. All right? For a woman, um, most underpants are panties. All right? And for a woman, there are dozens and dozens of different kinds of panties. But when we say underwear, we basically talk about a man's underpants, not a woman's. Okay? okay. So well done, underpants. Okay. Perfect. Let's get back to Team B. Oh, you guys got a long word as well, guys. So Team B, take it away. Can I start? Go yeah. ahead, Hamid. A. A? Oh, no A. E? E? Okay. No E either. <laughs> you guys got the no, non vowel word. S? S, Norbert? Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, First, suspenders. <laughs> just spell it. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. We don't have E. Sorry. We don't right. have e. Hamid, what did you say? You. You? Okay. No, no, you either. Um, uh, uh, oh dear. <laughs> T. Uh, T. Okay. Let's, let's put T. Okay. T. St stilettos? Still, okay, spell it. 
I L L. Oh, no, 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 no. no ah, L. It's not stilettos. It. We'll talk about what stilettos are in a bit as well, okay? Okay. Okay. Uh, o. O. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, right. uh, okay. Okay. Uh, stop talking. Yeah. yeah okay. Stop it. Well, what letters are there, guys? C, C mm -hmm. K, K, G. NG. N G S yeah. stockings. Well done. All right. Yeah. What's cool. the meaning of okay? What are stockings? For those of you who know what stockings are, what are they? Uh, stockings. Um, how can I explain it? This is something that only women wear. Just yeah. so you guys know. All right? it's yes. Common. Stockings are specifically for a woman. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, stockings are this uh, this okay. net kind of material that women wear. So there you go. Can you guys see that? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. So these are stockings. A lot of women wear these um, under dresses or when they go to work. Okay. Um, and this is and there are many different kinds of stockings as well. So the first two, the one on the left and the right, these are called sheer sheer. Okay, these are called sheer stockings. The one on the right, the one that has holes in it, those are called fishnet stockings. Fishnet. You, you guys know what fishnets are, right? A fishnet yeah. yes. is what you ca capture a fish in. So fishnets, they look like these stockings, all right? So sheer stockings are stockings that do not have any holes in them. Hole, stockings with holes are called fishnet stockings. And this is a, usually worn on formal occasions, all right? For example, if you're going to work, uh, if you're going to a dinner, and if you're wearing a short dress or if you're wearing a skirt, and you do not want to show too much skin, you do not want to bare your legs too much, then you would wear stockings, okay? Mm, okay. All right? So this is, this, is, this is specifically for women, all right? So, Lily, do you ever wear stockings? No. No? Yeah, neither do I. They're very uncomfortable. <laughs> and they tear very, very easily. They, they tear, maybe like you wear them two times and they tear. So they're not yes. very comfortable clothing. Amparo, what about you? Do you ever wear stockings? A long time ago. No, not anymore. <laughs> they are they're something from the eighties. We don't wear them anymore. <laughs> yeah. No, so this these are stockings. All right. Perfect. Abdullah, you are like on a roll. Well done. <laughs> oh, team A. This is your word and it looks like it's gonna be a small one. So let's get started with Amparo. Why don't you give us the first letter? Um a. 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 Okay. Oh, no A. Lily, what about you? T. T. But what is this? <laughs> no. Okay. I think yeah. it's time. Is it the same one? Is yeah, it? It's it's time. Time. Is it again? Time. 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 The first time I no. played. Here we go. The first time I played this game, it was not this dumb. Oh God. Okay. There we go. So you guys go ahead. You get another chance. I hope I hope it's a different word this time. Ooh. <laughs> I think I think yeah. my browser keeps refreshing, so that's why the the words keep recycling. Okay. Mm. E. Mhm. Mm G. Hey, there's no E. G. Z. Uh, as in G. zebra. G. Okay. G. G. Okay, there's no G. No. S, make S. Don't hang. Uh, you wanna... are, you, are you playing? Are you playing with the other team? <laughs> no. For us. Yes, uh, it's like, not ah. our turn. <laughs> Call it. Oh, oh, you, my my turn? Yes, yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Is it our turn or no, not? It's no, team it's not. It's team sorry. A. <laughs> thank you, uh, Golan. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> Abdullah's like, oh, my God, incompetent fools. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a. A. Okay, A. Ooh, three A. What is this? Ah, I know. Uh, Marina, okay. Let's let's give people another opportunity to guess it, and then Mario, you can tell us. So Hoda, do you have any guesses? Any letters? T. T. Yes. 
Oh, no tea. No. Mm. <laughs> Mario, do you know what is? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, Mario. Mario. What is it, Mario? Pajamas. 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 Okay. Pajamas. What letters are there, Mario? P and G. P, P and, and, and G. J. G. J. 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 Sorry. M. Pajama. M. 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 Okay, all right. I can, I can see that people are having some issue with these letters. So let's say it. So this letter, this is a G. Everybody say that? G. 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 Like G. Okay? G. Okay? G. Okay? G. This. Jesus Christ. Yeah, G. <laughs> like G. Okay? G. That letter is a J. Like J. J. Okay, so G, 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 yeah, G, G. Okay, so G, G, G. And can you say J for me, Hoda? J, J, J. Yeah, J, J. Yeah. Okay. So, because because if you try to tell someone G and you say J, that's a completely different letter. Okay, so G, yeah, picture my, picture my mouth going like E, there's an E sound in G, and there's an A sound in J, all right, J, G, all right, perfect, right. Okay. so pajamas, all right, pajamas, and uh, this is how you, pajamas, what are pajamas, guys? Night dress. Night dress, okay, all right, so basically what you go to sleep in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, pajamas and they are spelled differently depending yeah. on on where you are in the world. All right. Yeah. Yeah. What are the yeah. other spellings of pajamas? Um, the British one is P Y J A M A S. Perfect. Yeah. Pajamas. All right. In the UK. Yeah. So in in Europe in UK pajamas is spelled with a Y. All right. So we instead of P A J we say P Y J. Okay, but they mean the exact same thing. Depending on uh, where you where you live in the world, uh, it's just a different spelling. But basically, something that you sleep in is called are called your pajamas. What is the short form of pajamas? Pish. PJs. Okay, I I am going to change into my PJs. All right. A lot of people say that here in North America. I need to buy a new pair of PJs, all right? PJs is like the abbreviated form of pajamas. I can't believe she went to the movie in her PJs, okay? If you hear somebody saying PJs, they're talking about pajamas. Basically, anything that you go to sleep in that is very comfortable, that is super casual, that you would never leave your house wearing, those are basically your pajamas, okay? I love my pajamas. Where are my pajamas? Where are my pajamas? <laughs> let's buy, let's buy a PJ for DJ. PJ for DJ. Well, DJs should never ever DJ in their PJs. So there we go. Pajamas. Okay. Yeah. And just just remember the spelling, guys. That pajamas, P Y or P A, doesn't really matter. Just where you are, it means the same thing. Okay. Um. So we're out of we're out of time. And no. guess what? Guess I'm not what? Okay. I'm not ah, okay. I'm not another around. game. Another round. So this yeah. game was a tie. You guys are in. You guys are like yeah. neck to neck. You guys know uh, what that means? Neck to neck. Yes. Yeah. Tie is nothing. Not the round. <laughs> tie doesn't mean anything. <laughs> <laughs> tie is insignificant. <laughs> All right. You can decide uh, by making a uh, flip or head. You can flip a coin, a flip a yeah. coin. Oh, well, we have another class after this, and a lot of people have made reservations for that. Ah, but, who cares about the others? But I have a class tomorrow morning. If you join Abdullah, if you promise to be there, I'll schedule another hangman class. Well, I have some other engagements, so... No. <laughs> Sorry. We understand, Abdullah. Yeah, you don't yeah. love us. Go away. I'm ejecting you from class. Okay, I am Whoa. done. Thank you guys so much. This was so much fun. I have another class after this, and that's uh, going to be a, um, a role-playing dialogue class. If you guys want to get some speaking intonation practice down, then that would be the class for you. For now, I'm done. Thank you so much. It was really nice being here, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, okay? Thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye.